This segment brought to you by SureCrop, liquid crop nutrition delivered right to your farm. We're back. Let's join Kyle and Justin as they discuss controlling animal diseases with movement regulations, testing, quarantine requirements, and more. Hi, this is Kyle Bauer from Manhattan visiting with Justin Smith. He's with the Kansas Department of Agriculture, a uh, veterinary uh, veterinarian with them. Um, I, help us understand what the job of the Kansas Department of Agriculture is when it comes to animal disease control. Sure. Uh, the Animal Health Division is actually uh, our challenge, our mission is to protect the animal, uh, the health, safety, and welfare of our livestock industry as well as our pet industry across the state. So our job is, is basically to reach out there and, and, and view the, the livestock industry to see what regulations, what rules need to be put in place to, to help protect that, whether it be animal movement regulations, whether it be uh, disease regulations as far as the testing requirements and the quarantine requirements in that respect. Uh, our biggest, uh, the other thing that we do is, is we reach out there and we do any kind of a foreign animal or emerging disease investigation, we are responsible for taking care of those as well. Well, and truly, as we have confined animals in uh, large numbers, uh, sometimes there can be disease outbreaks, and it's your job to try to keep those controlled as much as possible. By all means. I mean, if, if we're unfortunate to have a disease outbreak in the state of Kansas, uh, we practice all the time and we're challenged all the time to how we're going to contain that, how we're going to squelch that and, and mitigate the risk and, and the damage that that animal disease will, will have upon our industry. And truly those diseases range all the way from rabies, which is a relatively small number over wider periods and a lot of different species to sometimes last summer avian influenza, right? Was that what it was called that you, and you had to do some euphemizing in large numbers? Definitely. Uh, avian influenza was the one disease last year that impacted the United States, uh, the largest animal health disease incident in, in the history of the United States. Uh, uh, unfortunately, state of Kansas, we did deal with it. It was on a small, smaller scale, but we did have to deal with it, but it did impact a great number of birds. So you have a lot of cooperation then with people out in the field in every county? Most definitely. We couldn't do it without the cooperation. Uh, we rely on them producers and owners to, to look at their animals each day, the daily husbandry, as well as the local veterinarian society. Uh, we rely on them tremendously. And then and, and if we have to do a response, uh, we've worked out arrangements. We work on the local emergency responders as well as uh, the local officials in, in any county to work in, to mitigate this. And you also have a cooperation and or um, cross agreements with neighboring states. That's right, we do. Uh, one of the big things that we have in place now is, is MOUs with these states that uh, um, if we have a disease and we need to shut down our borders for the purpose of movements, uh, we have their acknowledgement that they're going to do the same. And so, uh, yes, we do reach out across states and, and definitely communicate with them. And we think about that on, on big scenarios, but that happens regularly even with like horse movement. Yes, it does. Uh, it, likewise, uh, an example is the vesicular stomatitis that was affecting our neighboring states to the west uh, this last year. Uh, you know, when they got uh, that disease on a farm, it locked that farm down until they could mitigate it and, and actually get rid of that disease and prove that it wasn't there to be spread anymore. We're visiting with Justin Smith. Justin is with the Kansas Department of Agriculture. This is Kyle Bauer reporting. Back to you, Jamie. Stay with us to hear how comprehensive DNA tests and genomic data are driving the science of better breeding in today's beef cattle business. To see this show and past episodes of Ag AM in Kansas, go online to agamincansas.com.